700 million years after the nucleus emerged, the first multicellular organisms began to appear. In time, life's basic behavior patterns began to assert themselves. Movement and feeding. Now we had a food chain, a balance evolved between plant and animal life, with the latter most often consuming the former. Cell division took care of reproduction, the simple principle of one cell splitting to become two. Asexual replication, life on the assembly line, efficient, but rather lacking in innovation. Some unicellular creatures began to join forces, enhancing the size and complexity of living beings. The sponge, long thought to be a plant, was one of the first animals to live in a colony. Life had been exclusively unicellular for almost three billion years. But then for 670 million years, invertebrate multicellular marine animals were to have their day. Tiny animals, together with microalgae, formed enormous coral reefs. The coral was constructed, for the most part, by colonies of polyps, minute tubular creatures topped with tentacles that reeled in microscopic plankton. These tiny, strangely shaped invertebrates provided most of the nourishment for the coral reef. Eventually, these multicellular animals sprouted organs with specific attributes. The sea urchin's ambulacra moved it along, while its spines protected it. The sea urchin's mouth and teeth were set on an axis. This axial symmetry showed up also in starfish, brittle stars, and feather stars. This spiral tube worm deploys its branchies. 